Peace and greetings, peace and greetings from Brother Divine of a Culture Shock LLC. Today is uh, actually day 17 of the vlog, Life as an Entrepreneur, and today is Wednesday. So what that means is it's uh, What Content Works Wednesday. And uh, today I'm going to be giving just social media marketing tips or whatnot like I normally do on Wednesdays or whatnot. So um, social media marketing is so, so powerful nowadays with, you know, Pretty much everybody's just doing this right here. Uh, if you notice, nine times out of ten, if you see somebody walking down the street, even driving, which is dangerous, I do not suggest that. People are just always looking in their phone. So um, this is why I try to explain, you know, um, the benefits of using social media. I know a lot of people don't like it. I know it gets overwhelming. I know uh, creating a content can be very time consuming and a, a little bit overwhelming for some or whatnot. So. Uh, this is why I do the What Content Works Wednesday is, like I said, just to give a couple tips to, um, to entrepreneurs, man, just to show them the benefits and things things that you could do to help with your social media marketing um, if you weren't really you know, sure what to do or where to start as far as your marketing and things of that nature. So um, that's what we're doing on Wednesdays. Every Wednesday, uh, we'll be doing this, like I said, the What Content Works Wednesday uh, demonstration. So... Uh, we're going to go ahead and get into the content for the day and uh, the information I wanted to drop. And um, pretty much a lot of people, they don't even know where to start with the social media or things to do. And the main thing to do is just pretty much just join the conversation, man. If you if you don't voice uh, your brand, people won't hear the, you know, the announcement, you know, about your business or the products or services that you're providing to customers or whatnot. So. Uh, just join the conversation, man. Uh, a couple of things that you can do as far as like joining the conversation with social media. Pretty much you want to like uh, educate and inform people. Uh, you like to share links to news articles and interesting blog posts. Um, comment on current news. Share product news. Offer advice. Ask advice. Uh, pass, along, pass along a great story. Tell uh, you know people what you do. Uh, issue a challenge, connect uh, your colleagues, uh, monitor what people say about you, others, and products as far as like your competition, uh, whatever it is you're dealing in, uh, provide testimonials, respond to problems, and like I was saying, uh, saying earlier, you just want to get in on the conversation or whatnot. Um, and these things right here, these are just like kind of like bullet points of things that you could do, you know, as far as like uh, engaging in the conversation on social media, uh, different platforms or uh, you want to use for different things of that nature. Like Facebook, you really want to use that to uh, connect with your existing customers and clients to give them information, updates on certain products and services that you may have. Um, also, it's a good way to like uh, do like polls, ask questions about services and products that people uh, might be interested in that you might not have or whatnot, but you're thinking about incorporating it into your brand or whatnot. Um, customers will tell you, man, uh, you know, what they want or, or potential clients or whatnot. So this is why you want to do like, you know, some polls, um, offer advice, share advice. Uh, educating and inform is like one of the biggest things that I like to do, use my platforms for or whatnot, um, because it just shows your expertise people start looking for you as a actual um what's the word i'm looking for they'll start looking for you as like a staple in whatever field it is you're dealing with they will always know that okay this guy right here he's always posting you know informative information or whatnot and it just uh it helps build brand trust uh with your potential customers or your existing customers or clients and things of that nature um it's so many things, man, that you can do. But like I say, these are just little quick bullet points, you know, just to get you involved in the conversation as far as, you know, engaging on your social media with your um, with your fan base, your clients, your customers and things of that nature. So, so I have nine ways that content marketing can benefit your company or whatnot. I'm going to go through these kind of fast or whatnot. Uh, your company has a voice um, and it also has the ability to present the company in a positive light address concerns uh good and bad reviews and guys do not take these bad reviews uh to heart or whatnot actually listen if they're coming with like some uh constructive criticism or whatnot about your brand and uh i think i said this in the vlog earlier not too long ago um if you're able to fix it or whatnot just fix the problem uh customers or clients do see 
you know, uh, maybe like chinks in your armor and, and they're going to sit there and watch and see if you, you know, if you're con conscious of it and will, you know, make an effort to actually correct that. So don't always take the bad reviews um, personal or whatnot. I always try to just uh, correct the problem if it is a problem that you can uh, correct on or whatnot. Number two is uh, establish your expertise. When people think you're smart and transparent, they're more likely to trust you, uh, which leads to sell, uh, leads on sales or whatnot. And uh, this just goes back to what I was saying, just about educating and informing uh, potential customers and clients about your brand and your um, your brand's IQ. You know, you, the the products that you have. You know, do you really understand it in and out or whatnot? So you want to be, you know, very educated in whatever it is that you're dealing in as far as your business products and services. Number three, increase brand visibility. The more content you share, the more your brand is seen out of sight, pretty much out of mind. So it goes back to what I was just saying in the beginning of this vlog. You know, just join the convo, man. Uh, you want to be very, very visible, man, especially when you're just starting out your brand or whatnot. And uh, this helps with the brand recognition. Uh, so you really want to, you know, just be be very, very uh, proactive on your content posting or whatnot. Uh, number four, local business can become a global business. Online content helps a business that had only local connections grow to a place where more people can learn about your brand or whatnot. So this is one of the positive things about, you know, the Internet or whatnot. It exposes you to a vast demographic of people that you might not have been able to reach just locally or whatnot or financially. This is why I, I love social media, because it doesn't take a lot of money to do your marketing and branding or whatnot. Uh, if you notice, man, a lot of big companies, man, with these big budgets or whatnot, they're even getting in on the uh, action of social media marketing. Man, I'm telling you, it, it saves so much money, man, when it's done right and you're writing out um, very uh, creative content or whatnot to get people's attentions. Um, I mean, just think about it. Going viral. How much does it cost to go viral? Nothing it, it's, it's literally nothing um, if you have a, a piece of content to go viral or whatnot. And, you know, it exposed you to, you know, many, many people, man, not just locally, regionally, but, you know, globally or whatnot. So that's one of the pluses. Uh, number five can be inexpensive. Creating and sharing content doesn't have to be expensive. Use your creativity. I just was saying this. Um, and yes, I mean, you you do want to create like a little um, a advertising budget, budget or whatnot. But a lot of the things as far as like your marketing and promoting it can be done uh, for a very very small amount of money or whatnot so okay so number six any business can use uh, content marketing it doesn't matter the type of business if you have an existing customer base uh, you can create content to communicate with them and reach even more customers or clients or whatnot so the whole point of marketing or whatnot is just about communicating to your uh, customers and fan base and clients or whatnot or potential customers and clients and just pretty much getting that call of action out, man. What do you want people to do when they see, you know, you marketing or promoting uh, products or services that, you know, your brand uh, provides to customers and stuff. So um, and, and any business can find their niche. And that's another uh, marketing uh, strategy, niche marketing and whatnot. We'll we'll get into that in another episode or whatnot. But uh, don't feel like, you know, your business doesn't fit the mold of, you know, creating some kind of creative content, man, uh, on social media or whatnot, because uh, it, it really can and it can really, really push your uh, your business to the heights of where you're trying to reach or whatnot. So number seven, people can find your business as long as your content remains online, creating content that that's relevant both now and in the uh, future means your brand name will continue to come up in searches. Evergreen content has staying power. And that's pretty much, uh, you know, like content that people will uh, always be searching for. An example of this is like how to videos. There's there. I'm t I can't count on both my hands or feet. How many times, man, I went to so I mean, uh, YouTube and just type type in how to uh, YouTube has taught me so much as far as especially with my brand, as far as like the jewelry making and things of that nature. So you really want to come up with that evergreen content, things that's going to live forever and ever. And even, you know, Lord forbid, you know, you decide to close your business down or whatnot. If you still have this content on social media and it was, you know, a powerful piece of content, people are going to continue to look, 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 look it up, look it up in uh, views. Perfect example. Um, 
we had the screen print shot of what shop or whatnot. Uh, to this day, I still get phone calls. Well, not now because I finally um, I killed the uh, Google business page or whatnot. But with that Google business page, it was just so many people after we closed down that would just call constantly, constantly, constantly. So uh, you want to be mindful of that, man. For, um, provide people with good content, evergreen content uh, that'll live, you know what I'm saying, um, now and forever or whatnot. Uh, number eight, uh, it allows people to make informed decisions. The more info you share with people about your product and services, the better they'll be able to uh, make a purchasing decision. OK, so you want to be, you know, give a lot of detail, uh, a lot of the pros to your business. I mean, your products or services are what you're providing to people. And this will help them along the purchasing, um, you know, purchasing path or whatnot. Number nine, you can repurpose your content. Content can be reworked and rewritten to add new info and make old content more uh, current or whatnot. I love repurposing content, man, um, because pretty much with the content, uh, repurposing it or whatnot, a lot of the hard work is done to actual recording it, pe uh, piecing it together or whatnot. And you just change a couple things. You might put it on a different uh, social media platform or whatnot. So you might reword it a little bit just to fit into that platform's, uh, you know, pretty much uh, the mode of that particular uh, social media platform or whatnot. So, okay. So I also, I have some things that, you know, you might want to take in consideration for, uh, That'll help you, you know, with creating the type of content that people respond to. Your content should have a purpose. It should provide value. It should answer a question. It should be unique. Uh, it should be easy to relate to. It should be visual. It should have variety. It should be entertaining. It should be inspiring. It should be scannable. Have an intriguing title. Don't 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 go for the clickbait or whatnot because that'll piss a lot of people off. And they'll probably just be turned off from you and your brand because they know that you're coming with these uh, these clickbait titles or whatnot. Also, it should be shareable. Uh, it should be compatible. And also, um, it should be um, excuse me published with regularity or whatnot. So you want to be consistent with your uh, posting schedule or whatnot as far as your social media marketing. I suggest you come up with like an editorial calendar or whatnot, which I have. It just keeps me on track and on schedule with, with uh, posting my content in a timely fashion or whatnot. And um, and just stay consistent and stay ahead of it. This is how it won't bog you down because I'm telling you, creating content, man, is very, very time consuming. I mean, it's some days, man, it takes me like two, three hours, man, just to come up with some content or whatnot for all of my social media platforms, even though, you know, I have a lot of them, but each one of them is different. I have to create it in a certain type of way to fit that mode of that social media platform. So uh, those are a couple of things that you want to consider, man, when you're uh, providing content. And also you need to be mindful that the web is flooded with inaccurate info. So by creating content that's uh, valuable and uh, that's a serve that serves a purpose, you're cutting through the clutter, man, and the noise and becoming like a trusted source. And that's what it pretty much boils down to you want to be um, you want to be ahead of the pack and you want to, you know, provide accurate information. And um, this, like I said, it helps build with that brand trust or whatnot. It's a lot of BS, man, on the Internet, man. So you really have to watch what you take in as far as like, you know, uh, content wise or whatnot, especially dealing with different companies and things of that nature. So scamming is at an all time house. So at an all time house. So you want to do, you know, make sure you do research and, uh, you know, before you, uh, just go out there and spend your money. So as a, a brand, a company, a, a business or whatnot, you want to make sure that all of your content is accurate. You're not misleading people and things of that nature. And, and people respect that man. And they'll, uh, and the way they'll show that respect is, you know, uh, patroning your business or whatnot, spending money with you, spreading the word about your business, helping you build your brand as you, you know, continue to grow your brand or whatnot. So, so yeah, um, I hope today's content of what I provided today, as far as like, um, you know, just giving people some tips on like social media marketing. I hope this was very beneficial to you. I hope you guys can use this information, man, to help grow your business or whatnot, but don't let the social media, um, uh, marketing and whatnot overwhelm you i know it can get that way especially if you're doing everything by yourself and you're a uh, you know a solo entrepreneur or whatnot but just staying ahead um 
prioritizing things, being consistent. Like I say, uh, write everything down. That's why I'm telling you the editorial calendar is really, really clutch. I suggest everybody gets one if you're in business or whatnot. And um, and don't don't allow, man, you know, your personal feelings about social media get in the way of you making money. I've run across so many entrepreneurs, man, and they just like, man, I hate social media. I don't really like, you know, promote my business. But I'm like, you're leaving so much money because I'm telling you, everybody in the world has social media. My grandmother is in her 70s. This woman has social media. So you never know what type of money you might be leaving on the table, man, just because you don't want to really deal with the social media aspect. And I get it. Social media can be very, very negative. So, I mean, if if that's the case, I would just, you know, use it for business purposes. Don't even scroll on the personal tip. Don't post anything but anything about your business or whatnot. So, um, like I say, man, just take these tips. And I, I, I assure you, because this, I'm, all of these tips that I'm giving you guys, I assure you that I'm using the same tips or whatnot. And um, I, I've seen an increase in, um, on the um, on the back end on a lot of the analytical side on my social media pages just by taking a lot of this information. So uh, any questions, concerns, comments, feedback or whatnot, please feel free to leave a comment on this uh, YouTube channel. Or you can email me at sardavid83 at gmail.com. I will respond in a quick and timely fashion or whatnot to get back to you guys or whatnot. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much in a nutshell, man. Peace, love, prosperity, man, to the whole family or whatnot in the tribe, man. Hope everything is manifesting in your behalf or whatnot. And like I always say, man, let's, let's get this money. Uh, let's grow our brands and... Uh, turn our small business into really really big 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 business so peace and love from brother divine man i hope everybody's having a good day man so peace to the family on this good wednesday peace